Hi folks, and this is a special movie review for CTFX Cinema. If you don't know what that is, check the description down below. Tell you all about it. The movie we watched was Fifth Element. My man Juicy Bruce is Corbin Dallas. Now this movie's got a lot of nostalgic value for me. It came out in '97. I was still in high school, and it was it was a lot of fun when I saw it then. I enjoyed watching it in the years after that. And it's, honestly, it's been a while since I really watched sat down and really watched the whole thing. Um, and now that I sort of have had a chance to rewatch it and look back on it. I will admit that the story is pretty bare bones. You got Corbin Dallas, uh, played by Bruce Willis. Again, a role that he plays a lot of times. He used to be a badass when he was younger in the military or the police force or the insert X job description he had. And now he's sort of washed up or he's trying to make a, his way into a normal life. But suddenly the, his old life is pulling him back in because only he can do the amount of badass he needed for whatever job is happening in the movie. Now, you've also got Mila Jovovich, who I think this was one of her first big-budget roles. I know she was in Days and Confused and probably had as many lines as she had in that movie as she does in this movie, but still looks really hot. You've also got Gary Oldman playing Zorg. Now, Zorg is supposed to sort of be the main antagonist in the movie, but the real villain is the giant ball of evil in space that's coming towards Earth. Now, I will say this about the villains in this movie. Zorg and the giant ball of evil, I never really found that menacing. I don't find them menacing now. I mean, the giant ball of evil just sort of is there and is supposed to come and bring all kinds of destruction. And Zorg is almost, he's almost a goon in this movie. He's very slapsticky. A lot of things that happen to him are really almost comedic relief for the movie. So, again, I don't feel like the antagonists are really as strong as they could have been in this movie. But then again, I feel like this movie, which was done by, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's like a French artist or a designer or something. I don't know what. But you can see a lot of great visuals in this movie. Clearly went for a lot of style over substance in this movie. Whether it's the bright colors of the people's outfits or it's the crazy hair or it's, you know, I mean, it's almost comic booky in the way it's sort of made. It's... It's almost like a really well done version of the cartooniness of Batman and Robin. So <laughs> I'm not really sure if that's saying good things or bad things about this movie, but there you go. Also, Chris Tucker is hilarious in this movie. He is so, so funny in this movie. You just, I can't stop cracking up at how ridiculous he is. All in all, yeah, the story's not very good, but it's still a fun watch. So if you get a chance to sit down and watch it, it's on Netflix. Give it a watch. It's just a really fun action movie. Just turn your brain off and enjoy yourself with it. See, so if you get a second, check out my channel. I do mostly Star Trek reviews. I'm also sort of branching off into my own little Netflix reviews. So give it a look. I'll put a link here for the Star Trek stuff. So until next time, bye guys.